All right, this is a quick tutorial on how to um, yeah, um, run I I IIS and WAMP together. Um, personally, I you know I I like if you're a web developer and you're doing ASP.NET and um, and a lot of PHP development, like you know most of us are, um, you got to kind of run them both. So I'm gonna show you how to kind of make it so that um, you can run both at the same time. Um, anyway, so I'm just this is my local host. So the first things first, my IIS. Um, the best thing I can do here, you can see it's on port 80, right there. Click, um, you know, bindings, and you get this little drop box, port 80. We're gonna edit that, and we're gonna put that to 80 as well. And go OK. You can change the host name if you want. No close. I'm gonna restart that. And when I refresh this, it's not going to find it, but it's actually on port 80. So there's my IS. Now I can fire up um, my WAMP server. And you see it's offline. It's just warming up. And eventually gonna go to five four three two one now it's there and now I can go to my local host <coughs> refresh and there we go I got my um I got my WAMP server and my IIS um, together so um, hopefully that helps that's just a little trick of uh, changing your um, your port setting, and now I guess you know the other common thing is um, loading up Skype. So what we're doing options advanced connection, and then I've changed my port instead of 80, which is normally take to um, a different port for incoming connections. Right here. I'm using two three zero four two or whatever, um, but that's how you kind of run, you know, Skype and WAMP and IIS at the same time. So hopefully that works out a bit. Um, I had a problem with uh, upgrade to like that the new IIS or the new uh, Microsoft um, Web Matrix tool. Uh, so basically I haven't found a way to get around that um, but um, you know if you just have IS this is just ISS 7 um, you should be uh, should be work should be work should work perfectly